is a 64 Plymouth Sport Fury, which has been a luxury Fury, Sport Fury, 383, 727 torque flight. Basically, this was a Roadrunner, you know, a few years before the Roadrunner, except it was more decked out. I guess you would almost call it like a, well, a GTX had a 440 in it. But uh, before the 383, they had the uh, 361. They also had a uh, high deck 383, which is the high deck is like the 440. Get you kind of confused, right? <laughs> I think they even had a 361. Yeah. Yeah, 361, low deck, big block. Then later they came out with a 360 small block, much later. Gets a little confusing, doesn't it? You see the. Look at this interior, though, huh? An RPM tack. Sport Fury. Looks great. Just love convertibles, man. They're just, they're just so much more free. It's like actually when you call a car a cage, when you got a convertible, it's no longer a cage. So uh, that's why I got that little Sebring, the 99. Keep just fixing it. It's got 260,000 miles on it, but keep, keep just keep fixing it. Man, that thing's sweet. That is sweet. It just looks so cool going down the road. But this thing's got some get up and go. It's uh, it's 33 in Sport Fury. It's probably got a four barrel. It'd be uh, would have the better exhaust manifolds, better valves and stuff, valve springs. Would probably have the winded stray for a little more horsepower. So I think it would have 330 or 335 horse. And the 727 torque flight transmission was very stout. Probably has the eight and a three quarter punk and Mopar rear end in it. Very stout rear end. I know because I had the Roadrunner, it was similar to this, 69 convertible. And uh, I basically beat the crap out of that car for seven years and it was still going good when I sold it. But it was getting so difficult to get parts for it. But today you can get parts for it. Back then in the 1980 or 81 when I sold it, I bought it in 74. My dad got me a super deal on it from a friend of his whose dealer wasn't going to give him a squat for trading it in. So he said, sell it to my son for that price. He did. I was like, man, thanks, Dad. That was a great car for a long time. A really long time. That's why I got another convertible because I missed them. Love convertibles.